Okay, hello, Cancerians. How you doing? I hope everything's going well with you guys. Happy Memorial Day to you. You guys enjoy your memorial. All right, you guys, like, share, hit the notification button to be notified when I post a video. New viewers, subscribe. I'd love to have your subscribers sit back. Enjoy this reading. This is a reading, collective reading, okay? All right. This is a collective reading. All right. We're going to see what's going on in your energy. See what it is you need to know that you may not be seeing. All right. So we're going to get the cards to drop. And we're going to get to get into it. Okay. Cancer's energy. Wow. I already dropped. Show me Cancer's energy, please. Ooh, show me Cancer's energy. Mm, that one went to the wayside. Sun card came out too. Okay, so we have the star card, Aquarius energy. We have the queen of spears, Leo energy. Mm -hmm. There we go again. The sun card, Leo again. So this Aquarius energy, you could be dealing with Aquarius with Leo in their chart, strong Leo. Um, seven of coins, or you're dealing with Aquarius and a Leo. Seven of coins. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Nine of cups. It don't have to be you're dealing with that. Nine of cups. I see Scorpio Cancer energy. Ten of coins. Taurus Virgo Capricorn Earth energy here as well. The High Priestess Virgo or Pisces energy here. Ten of swords. Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. More air. The Four of coins. Earth energy, put it like that. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Hmm. Let me see what's going on in here. <sighs> okay. So, um, Cancer, there's somebody that's a star or somebody that's very successful with you um, in your energy. Somebody's in the spotlight or you see this person in the spotlight. You see them very popular. You see them getting a lot of attention. Um, this is somebody you could have stability with. This could be Aquarius um, with Leo in their chart. You find them highly attractive. You find them beautiful, um, fiery. They make you happy. This person makes you happy. You have to. You actually have stability with this person, and they do make you happy. But at the same time, you're looking elsewhere, or they feel like you're looking elsewhere concerning um, options. They 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 feel like you're looking into other options concerning your stability. But and they feel you're just holding on to them. They just feel like you're. Uh, this person may see you as being stubborn. Um, feel like you're just holding on to them for the sake of being held, holding on to them. Or they may feel like, or this is what you're doing. You could be holding on to this person just because you feel safe, secure, and you're stable. You're comfortable with them. But you're dealing with a whole lot of other options. You're seeking other options at the same time as holding on to this person. And you're hiding the fact that you're seeking other options. You're looking at other options concerning stability. You know, who you want to be with stability-wise. You're, you're looking for other options while you're dealing with this person. And they're intuitive. The high priestess, they know you're doing this. This person's very intuitive. This person is gifted, spiritually gifted. They know that you're looking into other options. They they know that you're only holding on to them because you feel comfortable with them. All right. They they know that you're backstabbing and betraying them. All right. Yeah. By holding on to them, being selfish. Only holding on to them for what you need them for. This is how this person is feeling. But their intuition is showing them this at the same time. So this is what this reading is telling you. Somebody knows. Okay, they know cancer. There's a cancer out there who's holding on to somebody, you know, but just because of what they need them for. Maybe you're codependent on this person. All right? And they know this. 
for what they could do for you. You value what they could do for you, but that's it. No love is here in these cards. And this person is intuitive. They know. All right. Okay. So that's what you're being told. Well, you're dealing with somebody that has a spiritual gift. They know everything. They know they can see. Okay. They know. So if you're hiding this, you can't hide it from this person. They know how you feel. That's what you're being told, Cancer. They know how you feel. Okay. All right. Okay, um, Cancer's energy. Show us Cancer's energy. Ooh, what was that? I'm going to take those. All those just flew out. Okay, somebody got a lot to say. Five of Spears. Okay, Sag Leo Aries energy. Seven of Cups. I see Scorpio Cancer energy. The Hair Font. Taurus energy. Um, Page of Spears. Aries energy. Three of Cups, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy, your energy, Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, Nine of Swords, more air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, Three of Spears, your um, Sag, Leo, Aries energy, Three of Coins, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, and Death, Scorpio energy. All right. Let's see what's going on in this reading. Hmm. Somebody could be innerly conflicted, confused um, on some options that they have. Somebody had a lot of options. And they're feeding somebody some illusions as well. Okay, you could be confused concerning, uh, um, or this is a fire sign confused concerning you. Um, Sag Leo Aries energy, or this is you feeling this way. Um, they're feeding you some illusions. Or there's a lot of arguing between you and this fire sign. There's some illusions here. Somebody feeding you some illusions. Some, there's something you're not seeing that you need to see concerning this person. They're hiding it. Maybe they're confusing you on purpose so you won't see the real them. The hair fine is here. Um, they could want to marry you. This person is doing this because they may want marriage. Their, their, their intentions are to marry you. Or to get you to marry them or something of that fact. Or this is somebody you're married to. Or this person has mental issues. Somebody could have mental issues. Or this person's going to be exposed for what they're doing. It could be all of that. They're, they're going to be exposed for trying to confuse you. Feeding you illusions. Untruths. Taurus energy. Oh, this is a Taurus you're dealing with. They could have fire in their chart or you have fire in your chart. But this person is trying to confuse you. They're feeding you illusions on truth on who they really are. They could be trying to um, act like they're spiritual. This person is trying to portray that they're, they're spiritual. This person isn't spiritual. They're, they're pretending to be spiritual, trying to confuse you, feed you illusions. Pedro, um, Spears is here. Um... They're immature. Okay. Um, the communication may be immature between you and this person as well. It's something. Um, this person may be argumentative, but they're hiding that. They're trying to portray it behind spirituality or something like that. They're fine. Mm-hmm. But they're going to be exposed for that. Three of Cups is here. This is somebody you want to reunite with or they want to reunite with you. So what is going on here? This person is going to come in hiding them, their true selves to reunite, reunite with you. They're going to come in pretending like they've grown spiritually, that they went through a change um, spiritually, which they have not. They're going to come in feeding illusions to you. 
Okay, maybe there's somebody you used to argue with and fight with in the past a lot. But to get what they want from you, they're going to come feeding you some illusions that they've changed. They have not changed. This person, you may see them as immature. They're still immature. This person actually has a lot on their plate financially. Um, that's actually why they're coming in to reunite with you. Because they need some kind of help. Um, they're, they're, you're going to gain clarity on why this person truly wants to... Um, get a successful new beginning with you okay it's going to be exposed the truth is going to come out um or this is them trying to gain clarity all right how to get a successful new beginning with you they're up at night worrying about um getting this new beginning off the ground with you because this could be somebody you turned your back on because they were immature they argue too much so you turned your back on this this person three of, three of wands is here or this is what they did to you. They could have turned their back on you in the past. Thinking that there was something better out there for them. Death card is here. Scorpio energy. They could have ended things with you for a Scorpio. Now they're coming in for a new beginning. And they're going to tell you they want to work on a partnership with you. A partnership for stability with you. The reason why is because they got a lot on their plate financially. Right? They need help. <laughs> that's the only reason they're coming back into you okay this person has not changed they're gonna come in and act like they work on themselves and they, they did some spiritual growth no this person has not went through a spiritual growth they're still immature okay they still um are immature when it comes to that mouth okay so that's that's what you're being told here i'm moving on all right good luck in that situation okay the car fell out um Oh my goodness. Cancer's energy. Cancer's energy. Show me some cancer's energy, please. Yeah, they coming in to confuse you, that person. I was confused the beginning then. They know they were they're working hard to confuse you, cancer up here. To so use your intuition. Um, four of spheres is here. Sag Leo Aries energy. Um, six of spears, Sag Leo Aries, fire here, page of coins, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, the six of swords, Gemini Libra Aquarius energy, air energy, the three of swords, Gemini Libra Aquarius energy, air, strength card, Leo energy, five of cups, Icy Scorpio Cancer energy, the eight of swords, Gemini Libra Aquarius energy is here. Knight of Cups, Pisces, and then we have the Magician, Aries. Okay, so, let's see. Somebody's going to come in and offer you some type of travel, some type of vacation. Somebody's going to come in wanting to go on a vacation with you to get a victory with you, to charge for it in a victory with you, Cancer, a fire sign, Sagittal Aries. Okay, yeah, they're they're wanting to embark on a new beginning of growth of stability with you. So they're gonna come in wanting you you and them to take some type of trip together. Okay. Just to get a new beginning of growth of stability with you. Six of Swords is here. Yeah, this is somebody that's wanting to move to better waters with you. Or you you may be working on moving to better waters with an air sign. But this fire sign ain't going to come in trying to embark on a, a new beginning of growth with you. Okay, but you trying to work on um, moving to better waters with a air sign. but Or this fire sign, they could want you to move away from a, a water, an air sign. If you didn't want an air sign, they could want you to move away from a, from a air sign towards them and this may cause a third party situation to pop off because you may not let go or this is you you're working on moving like i said you're working on moving to better waters in a situation um where there was a lot of heartache and pain between you and this um air sign and you're working on healing it okay you're working on healing Heartache and pain that, that was caused between you and an air sign. 
Maybe you put this person in a third party or this is somebody. Maybe you had a third party with this fire sign on this air sign. Okay, so maybe this this fire sign is somebody you had a third party with and they're coming back around to cause issues again. And this is just going to cause more heartache and pain in the situation if this is found out. Okay, but you're working on healing things with this air sign, okay? Um, you're, you're working on healing things. You no longer want to be separated from this person. Okay, you're feeling guilty. You're feeling hurt. I mean, you're feeling guilty. You're disappointed within, within yourself. Um, this person is going to come in and they may cause you to be innerly conflicted again on what to do in this situation. All right. You don't want to be in this cycle anymore, you know, or it's going to cause you to be stuck in a cycle of confusion where you was working on ending that. And it's going to put a halt maybe to that where, you know, you wanted a new beginning, you know, with this and healing things with your with this air sign. But this fire sign is going to come in trying to mess things up, it looks like. This person is manifesting you. Okay, either this is with you or with your partner. Somebody's coming in, Aries energy. All right? They're going to come in and start some confusion. So they could get a new beginning with your, either with you or with your person. They're going to come in offering you love, this person. Or your person, a Pisces, Aries energy, right? With fire. Yeah, the Aries, they're coming in. So either this person coming in with you, like I said, offering you a trip, wanting to go on a trip with you, or this is a, um, this is for your partners. If, you, if you're in a relationship, if you're married, um, this person's coming in to your partner, okay? And this is a past third party relationship either you had with this person or your partner had with that person. Okay. So that's what you need to look out for. Somebody coming in to express some love to somebody. But you're working on a partnership or healing things, which in the midst of you working on a healing things with your partner, here comes somebody to mess that things up. To try to mess things up. Whether it's on your end or your partner's end. Okay, Cancer's energy, okay? Cancer's energy. Show me Cancer's energy. What else do Cancers need to know? Show me Cancer's energy, please. Show me Cancer's energy. Show me Cancer's energy. Thank you. Okay, is that it? Cancer's energy. Okay, a card flip. Okay, two cards. Okay. Okay, judgment was the first card out. Okay, judgment is here. Okay, this one. Okay, um, two of cups is here. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy. The tower is here. The empress is here. Libra energy. The hermit is here. The tower is Scorpio. Um, the eight of cups is here. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy. Water energy. Two of Swords is here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energies. And then we have the Ten of Cups. Okay. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy. Okay. So um, right off the bat, somebody wants to reconcile. This may be some somebody coming back that you thought things was dead with. You never thought it could work again with this person or you didn't see them coming back. But they're coming back wanting reconciliation. They feel like something that you thought it was dead could come back to life. Um, this is somebody, two of cups that you could have been in a commitment with in the past. They're coming back for a commitment. Maybe they weren't committed to you. So they're coming back for their soulmate. They see you as their soulmate. They want a commitment. And now want to commit to you. Tower. Maybe there was a tower is who because they weren't committed to you in the past. They would not commit to you in the past. Now they're coming back in wanting to commit after a tower because they're in love with you. Empress energy. This person's in love with you. All right. They love everything about you. The hermit is spending a lot of time to themselves, getting some spiritual guidance, spiritual growth, spiritual enlightenment on how to get back in your good graces. Okay. The Eight of Cups is here. Yeah. They, they walked away from you in the past. This person walked away from you because they were at a crossroads between you and someone else. 
Okay. Or yeah, or they were at a crossroads on whether or not they wanted a family foundation or not, a ten of cups, or it was somebody else. Okay. They didn't know whether you were going to be able to make them happy or not. You were the other person, so they were. They could, it could have been somebody else that was at a crossroads between you with, or they just didn't know where their happiness lied. You know, so they were at a crossroads. They're no, they're no longer at a crossroads now. They know they want to tend the cups with you. They know they're in love with you. They know they love you with you. And now they know that they want a family foundation with you. Okay. So somebody's coming back to bring what was dead back to life. All right. That's what I have for you, Cancer. Um, like, share, hit the notification button to be notified when I post a video. All right. Okay. And enjoy your um Memorial Day, you guys. Um and I'm out. Until next time, I love you guys. Be good. Like, share, hit the notification, and subscribe, new viewers. Thank you. I'm out. I hope you guys gained some clarity. I heard something you wanted to hear. I knew it was something I wanted to say. All right. I'm out.